Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Plan 3D Tutorial and in this video we will be learning about piping modeling in Plan 3D. So let's get started. As you can see I have a simple PNAD which I have made by myself and this PNAD is just to make you understand how to do piping modeling in AutoCAD Plan 3D. So as you can see here I have an equipment or a vessel and here we have a pump and we have an inlet to the pump which is going from the tank and we have an outlet which I have just discontinued and we'll leave it as open. So let's start the modeling of this PNID. So here if you can see I have already modeled the tank and the pump. If you haven't watched my equipment modeling video I'd like to suggest you to first watch the equipment modeling and then you can come back and see the piping modeling video. So here if we check in my, in my PNID my pump outlet size is 4 inch first what I have to do is so here if you see in the ribbon bar we have some options for piping modeling on the top left corner so these are the mostly used options uh, or functions for piping modeling so here you see we will not be using all the commands because the commands which will be useful for you in the piping modeling I will be using only those because many commands like this PCF and all we actually might not using much in any companies so most important commands which we require in piping modeling I'll be using that and that should be very much sufficient for you to do any piping modeling in plan 3d so before beginning we have to give the line number to the line actually there are two methods first is you model all the lines and select the whole line after modeling and then give the line number or else you can give the line number first and then start modeling and it will automatically take the line number for all the connecting parts so we'll be modeling by giving the line number first so uh, let me just copy this line number which we have which i have given this is just a random line number you can see the pnid of any plant and then you can give the line number so here if you see on the top root new line number so when i click the root new line number it is asking me the number so i'm giving the line number and next it is asking me the size if you click, click on this it expands and you have to select the line number line number is 6 inch so that is 150 and i'll leave the spec as uh, ss 150 and i'll just give it as assign and now you can see it has uh, it is showing my line number which i had given now so now let's start routing so first let's model the inlet inlet line to the pump so starting from the inlet nozzle the size of the nozzle is 4 inch and then comes a reducer and this reducer is an eccentric reducer you should know that uh, for every pump in the inlet we give an eccentric reducer so 4 by 6 inch reducer and 4 inch is the inlet nozzle you can see I have given 4 inch as inlet nozzle so I'll just click I'll just click on the pump and you can see there is a plus sign showing here if I click this plus sign I can drag a line and if the spec properly created the flange should automatically pop out as you can see I click this nozzle plus sign and the flange automatically shows up so I'll just give a 100 mm spool first as you can see this is actually not 100 mm because it has taken 100 mm from the nozzle so what I can do is when I click on this pipe I can see two things you can see three pickup points which indicates the start the middle and the end of the pipe and one more is the plus sign plus sign indicates adding a new pipe and this pickup point indicates extending the, the same pipe for example if I click on this pickup point it is asking me the distance so now I will change it to 100 now if I measure this from here till here it is 100 why is 100 you can see again why is 100 so next is the reducer so to take the component out I have two options either you can see here in the ribbon bar there is option called spec viewer if I click the spec viewer I'll get and I have I have to click the spec viewer then I have to select the spec which I want from the top right corner and I want SS150 so I'll click on SS150 and next what I want is I want a reducer reducer it is here here if I click on which 
it is ask, it is showing me reducer concentric reducer eccentric i want eccentric reducer and also if there are and you can see there is butt weld and both are butt weld and if you want socket weld we have to add that socket weld and whatever type of components you want in the spec using the spec editor so we will not be learning about spec spec editor in this video we will be covering spec editor in a separate video so now i want an eccentric reducer i am clicking on the eccentric reducer and the size which i want is 4 by 6 inch that is 150 by 100 and 150 by 100 eccentric reducer is here I'm, I'm selecting this and then I can click on insert model or else I can just double click on this sorry and I'll get this okay see my selection of the reducer is on the bigger side and but I want to connect the smaller side to my pipe so what I can do is I can press N and enter now you can see my selection is on the smaller size of the reducer so now if i select i mean go close to the pipe it automatically connects what i have to do is i have to go close to the pipe and click on and click and that is left click and now it is asking me the orientation of the reducer what i what i want is i want the flat side on the top so what i'll do is i'll just see where it is coming and just click and escape you can see my reducer has been created and next what I want next is the drain so before adding the drain I need to add the pipe so what I'll do is I'll click on this reducer and if you want to change the reducer size here any component size you can click on the component and there is an arrow here if you click here whatever the sizes are available it will be showing here see two sizes are here and more sizes if I go here it is showing all the sizes available so whichever size I want I can select from here as well and next if I want to change the direction of the reducer if I click on this arrow see it is not connecting because the bigger size because of the bigger uh, size difference I'll just undo and this if you see this changes the root orientation you can see it is rotating it by 180 degree so now let me add a pipe I'll click on this and click on the plus sign I'll add a spool length of 300 you should just remember that spool length should be at least 1D it can be less or more but it has to be minimum 1D at least you have to try to make it as 1D so now here you can see I have a drain uh, with gate valve of size 3 by 4 inch my drain is of size 3 by 4 inch so I'll change the size here first line number remains the same only the size changes so 3 by 4 inch is 20 so I have selected 20 then I'll root the line I want the spool at the center so I'll just click here in the center as you can see my spool is coming see I am clicking on root line and then I want this at the center if you want somewhere here you can click wherever you want but I want at the center of the spool it automatically connects with the spool see I can wherever I want I can just rotate it it is showing me the compass as per the compass uh, we'll just rotate it so now let me give off size 150 spool length of 150 okay I'll just keep it in the right view or maybe just me just let me make it as 200 okay and now either I can just place a gate valve here or I can give an elbow and then place the gate valve let me just give it and uh, give an elbow and place the gate valve see I am just clicking on the pipe in the plus sign and if I want in the left or right wherever I want I can move the elbow if you want to change the compass plane in the horizontal direction you what you have to do is press P then enter you can see the plane has changed again P now it is in horizontal again P in whichever plane you want to work you can change the plane by using this command that is P enter 
okay now i'll give a spool length of let me check okay i'll just put it in the top view so let me give it as uh, 200 okay now what i have to do is i have to place the valve see i had shown you how to select the components using the spec viewer now we have a tool palette also from where we can select the uh, components your tool palette should uh, show up on the right side if it is not showing you can use the command that is tool palette and click then it will show here then what i want is a uh, gate valve of size 20. i can scroll down scroll down to the valves and here you can see we have different types of valves so here i need a gate valve of size size will be taken from here so gate valve is here i'll take this you have to just click once and just come close to the end of the pipe and it will automatically align with the pipe and click enter i mean click on the left click and now is where you want the uh, lever of the valve to be placed at which orientation i want it in the straight direction so what i'll do i'll just move my cursor to the vertical direction and click and my drain has done and i'll just leave the drain like this okay and what's next next is the gate valve of size six inch so what i'll do i'll extend this spool now it is 300 let me make it as at least 500 and now i'll be adding my gate valve here so i'll be selecting first the size size is six inch that is 150 then what i want a gate valve gate valve here you can see now the size is changed that is the size is taken from here 150 and i click it and i want the orientation in the top direction and enter see my valve has been created okay now you know to route the line using this command now we'll see how to route the line using the line command so before that i'll just create this valve butterfly valve which is uh, placed below the equipment nozzle so the size is six inch and that is a butterfly valve i'll use a wafer type i'll just enter and just place it on the nozzle and it has taken and i'll give the orientation in this direction that is the east direction okay now what we'll do is we'll be creating the pipe uh, using the line command so what i'll do i'll create a line first where i want my pipe to follow the route so line from this node that is the end of the valve till like this and then till the node of the node of the butterfly valve so see now we have a line here from where i want my pipe to follow this route so what i'll do is i'll select this line i'll set the size here that is 150 and i'll just click on line to pipe see it is telling me the pipe doesn't fit here as you can see there is a leak here in the valve uh, this drop indicates that the components are not properly connected so this time uh, this line command sometimes doesn't connect the components with the line properly actually we need a val uh, we need a flange here and then it has to be connected to the line so what we'll do is we'll delete this spool and what and select this flange uh, this valve butterfly valve and click on this plus sign and connect with this pipe now you can see our line has been created and without any leaks uh, but here we think we have one leak so i'll just move it back and connect you can see our leaks are not there anywhere uh, this is an open end so it is showing leak so that doesn't matter so our inlet uh, we have created successfully you can see red user uh, a drain a valve and one more butterfly valve so now let us create the outlet okay as you can see our outlet of the pump is the size uh, 3 inch and then we have a reducer of size 3 by 4 inch and next a line goes of size 4 inch and we have a pressure indicator with the valve 
so let us first draw this three inch line let me set it the size to three inch three inch is nothing but 80 okay next i'll click on this pump and i'll click on this plus sign okay i'll first get the valve and then i want the size of 100 mm spool or 1d 100 mm now as you can see uh, the line number has been changed so this time what I'll do is I'll model this line and at the end I'll give the line number unlike the last time uh, where we had given the line number first and then model the spool okay and the next is uh, a reducer of size 3 by 4 inch and it is a concentric reducer you have to remember that a pump outlet will have a concentric reducer concentric reducer is here and here I have to select 3 by 4 inch that is 100 by 80 I'll double click come out here I want a smaller size to connect here so I'll just press N enter and come close to the line and click ok and see my reducer has been created and next is the open end line that is 4 inch line you just have to click on the reducer and just drag this line ok this line is just open and next is 3 by 4 inch line with the gate valve okay uh, I'll just start it from 100 I'll just draw 100 mm line here for reference and I need a 3 by 4 inch line that is 20 I'll click on root pipe I'll click on end of this line which I had created let me see in a right view okay and I'll give it a length of 200 now if you see this line is not connected as you can see your extra drop here so what you have to do is you just drag this pipe to somewhere here and take this plus point and just go near the pipe and click and it gets connected so here you can see now we have one open end uh, where we have the drop so next what we'll do is we'll place the valve here of that is the gate valve size 20 but before that uh, you have to make sure this valve is accessible so but I cannot keep this valve on this side I want this valve to my uh, west side that is I have to rotate this select the both pipe and valve which I want to rotate and take this center as the reference and rotate as you can see again it has lost the connectivity of the pipe uh, you have to follow the same method Okay, done and next what we have is and here if you see after connecting the valve if you want to orient it see you have to click the valve and click on this dot if you click on this dot you can see my compass has been enabled I can and I can rotate the valve in whichever direction I want and also if you want to inter interchange the ports you can click here and if you want to rotate it by 180 degree then you can click this arrow you can see and next is uh, I have a pressure indicator I'll do one thing I'll just keep this uh, lever on this side I'll use a 50 mm spool see it is I want my pipe in the vertical direction but it is working in my horizontal plane so I'm pressing P and enter so now it is going in the vertical direction so I'll give another 50 mm spool or oh, sorry I'll give a 100 mm spool and now I want my pressure indicator pressure indicator it comes in the instrumentation spec here you can see dynamic spec where we have uh, all the piping components then we have pipe supports then we have instrumentation spec pipe supports we'll be learning in a separate video so I'm not covering it now we'll just go in the instrument spec here you can see different type of instrument like flow meter pressure gauge temperature gauge everything you will get it here and this has to be done in the spec editor so here you can just see and select and use the components which you want but to create this components you have to go into the spec creator so now let us use this what I want is a pressure gauge I'll use a threaded one just connect 
see here it is i'll just tell you one thing here it is not connecting why because this is a threaded one and this pipe is just a plain end so to place pressure indicator you need to have a nipple here since i don't have a nipple in my spec i am just placing a pipe so you can see this uh, leak so uh, when you have a proper spec you will have a nipple available here so that time what you have to do is you have to place the nipple first uh, that will have a plain end that will get connected with this socket elbow then other end will be threaded and where the pressure indicated gets connected so i don't have that so i'll just uh, connect it with this pipe and we'll just ignore this leak so now let us give the line number as we had uh, not assigned the line number in the beginning of the outlet so i'll just copy this line number now as i said you that uh, there are two methods of giving line number one is initially we'll give the line number here and the, and then start routing and the other method is uh, you have to click on any one component of the line then right click and go to add selection then connected line number and whatever the connected parts or components are there in the line it will get selected even this uh, pressure indicator had to be selected since we have uh, not uh, we don't have a proper connection between these two it's not getting selected so let us just leave that so this line is getting has been selected go to the properties click on this line number and expand and what you have to do is click on new new line number and give the line number of whatever the line number is and click on assign and now if i click on this line number you can see it is l1002 so this is the second method of uh, uh, how you will give the line number for the line uh, you can just go through these commands about compass you can just change this angle and just try what it does and this is about the selection of the pipe i'll just show you this here you can see if i expand this it is showing as top center of the pipe bottom of the pipe first uh, what i'll do is i'll select on top and i should make sure uh, you have to make sure that you have to this is enabled now if i root you can see my selection is on the top you can see this line it is selecting on the top i'll just show you in a good view here delete this root pipe uh, you have to again enable this root pipe you can see the selection is on the top and okay i'll show you by changing this bottom now for root i'll just rotate this okay i have to enable this then root now you can see the dimension line is coming from the bottom that is the reference it is taking from the bottom wherever i am clicking the bottom of the pipe starts from there and i'll land it here now if i select center of the pipe and i have to enable this and root now you can see the dimension line it is coming selecting from the center of the line so this is the use of this command and this is used for uh, a slope if you have a slope pipe you have what you have to do is you have to enable this and give a slope that is for example if you have a 1 is to 100 slope just click that and just root the line see i am rooting the line and you can see the slope symbol there so it is creating a 100 is to 1 slope pipe you can see this is not a straight pipe it is a slope pipe and you can see that this pipe this is actually a straight pipe you can see the difference and if i draw a line here you can see the difference between the end so whatever the slope angle you have you can enter enter it here make sure but make sure that this is enabled so i'll disable it now so guys this is what this was about uh, pipe modeling in plan 3d and in our next video we'll be learning about isometric extraction in the plan 3d 
and after that we'll be also learning about orthographic extraction for piping layout in plan 3d as well so please make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you like my videos please hit the like button and if you have any suggestions for me you can comment in the comment section and if you also have any doubts you can comment in the comment section so thank you very much for watching my video and i'll meet you in the next video till then have a great day and goodbye